play again. Guys, are you sick of hearing from me yet? I really hope not. Um, one of the things that, that I need to touch on before I, before I finally can turn in is technology. Um, I am not a tech tard. I, I learned, I, I, I program, I've programmed video games, like the coding and, and, um, sorry about the dishes. It shouldn't be too bothersome, but, um, this technology in these days and age, this day and age, I don't get it. And this is part of why I was feeling old earlier. Because I really, I was trying. My daughter's telling me, she's like, Mama, um, use the, the voice to text and then your thumb will, you know, because my thumb, you remember, like the writer's thumb. This is this is a, a new kind of disability, I swear. Like like something that, that writers are going to be able to claim on a workman's comp in the future. <laughs> like, but anyway, um, I was uh, talking with my with my baby, and I'm trying to type. I'm trying to tell her about everything that's happening. And part of the reason I'm typing so much is because I have so much to say to all the people who support me, right? And and I connect to them on the internet through chat. We we talk on Facebook all the time. Like I talk to my children. Joe, that is too loud, babe. Thank you. Sorry for starting to scream over the top. I'm sorry about the noise, but um, we um. You know, it's with the my, my daughter's trying to help me use talk to text and I don't get this newfangled stuff and I actually said that. And um I mean I can program your computer to do almost anything. I can teach a teapot to whistle a tune. I am not not a tech tart. I am not a technophobe. I got this. But this new stuff, like um Crowdcast hates me. It hates me. Every time they tried to put me on, it would like bounce me back off. It, it would come up. It would show me a picture of my face and it would ask me to click accept. And as soon as I clicked accept, my ugly face bounced right back out, right? Like it hated me so much. It was like, nope, not you. Every time. And and I got lucky a few times and I'm so glad I did. But um so today I'm trying to do all this stuff and for some reason my okay, so so I have I have the cheap internet. I have I have AT and T ten dollar food stamp internet, and everybody's like, oh, you know, it's so great, and it is because it lets me stay connected, but it doesn't let me do a damn thing. And so, like when I'm trying to to upload a, a video, especially like it lags out everything, and my TV won't work <laughs> because it's working on Roku <laughs> because I can't afford cable. But I can't afford Netflix. And um <laughs> it's like like everything wants to break. I can't I can't normally the focus to chill out or listen to my favorite old TV shows, ones I've seen a thousand times. Ones that taught me something valuable, right? I mean shows that other people discount because they see them as as frifery and they don't understand the underlying relationship healing that they do and when you do this program with me for a while you'll learn to understand when people are speaking healing words and and when you recognize that people's intent is to heal one another it becomes this whole magical thing and some tv shows they're like like these counseling sessions it's exactly like what i do and i really recommend like gilmore girls right and charmed I love charm. It's 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 lighthearted, but also so transformational. If you if you get into the relationship of the sisters, you don't get caught up in all the supernatural, flashy stuff that makes you look at the screen. But you pay attention to the character development. It's the best show I have ever seen. I am a huge lifelong fan of Constance Burge. And you are my hero. I don't know if I'll ever meet you or if you will ever hear this, but thank you for the gift that you give me with these very enlightened and yet lighthearted and funny and interesting shows. Like it, it's transformational when when you realize when you realize it. And what will happen when you're doing this is you'll suddenly start to hear all around you your healing words that you are giving to people, echoing back at you and people start talking to you nicer and so the nicer you are to people the nicer they are people say that but it's not it's not some fake positivity crap you can't come up and be fake you can't say oh i'm gonna be nice to you because i really don't like you but i'm a hypocrite no like if you don't like somebody you say dude you know i'll help you i don't like you you be honest with them because if you're not honest with them you're doing them a disservice you're not being mean to them 
by setting your own boundaries, what you're doing is, is inviting abusers into your life. There's so many abusers. And, and when you start to do this, you'll see them everywhere. I'm telling you, people who are using the opposite of healing language. And these are the people that, unless they're unless they're violent or like actually abusive, you know, as long as they're just casually cruel, which is unfortunately the American mindset, um, you can you can stop them. You can stop it. You can, they'll say something like, you know, I I never did like black guys hair, and you're like, what? Why would you say that? Like, why would it matter to you? Like, I don't know. Something about their hair is just gross. And I'm like, so why are you looking at it? If something is disgusting to you, don't look at it, you know? But there's no reason that his hair should be disgusting. Why is it disgusting? Like, what is it? that? What is that mindset? And, and but that, you know, and you try to tell people, like, how would you like it if I told you your hair is disgusting? Your hair disgusts me. I can't stand to look at you. You are so unattractive to me right now that I feel absolutely, utterly sick. And I sent this to him and he went, oh my God, like, is that what I just said? And I'm like, it is. And it hurts, doesn't it? And you can't talk to people like that. And when you, when you catch them and you teach them better, you see people, like, it's so, it's, it's, it's transformational. And I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm trying to teach you something. So you know, I know that, that I go on and on, but it's worth listening to and please get a hold of me. But um, so that's my rant on how I'm too old for this modern technology doing doing a very low tech job in a high tech world. <clears throat> you know, doing something that I can do most easily one on one in the same room with 10 and 15 people at a time from all over the world, which I mean, it's beautiful and it's, it's awesome, but it's not easy. It's, it's crazy. And there's so much more demand on me because I'm, I'm available to everybody. And as soon as people hear about this, they, they want to talk to me. And so I'm doing this so I can teach you to do this too, to take some of the weight off of me because I mean, I was given the ability to do this so that I could teach other people to do it too. And not so that I could carry the weight of the world on my shoulders. And so what I'm asking you to do when you listen to these videos, these cute chats, the, the serious moments, and you reflect on them, tell me something that you learned about yourself in this time. That's your challenge. That's your homework. And now I'm going to go plug up my internet again and possibly cause, you know, an electrical failure in my household because these circuits overload easily. But, you know, it'll come back up. And I'll get this done. And and I love you all. And, and thank you for listening to me be an idiot. And and to talk, you know, for now. <laughs>